what happened to Jasper? Why aren't you doing Saturdays with a Cynical anymore? Is Jasper learning any new words? Okay, so nothing's wrong with Jasper. Jasper's fine. He's at the house right now. Um, Jasper is back into um, his breeding season, the actual breeding season, which will last until about March. Um, he hasn't quit <laughs> what he's been doing pretty much all year long. So, um, as far as, you know, why haven't I been showing any Saturdays with the Senegal, it's, it's not that I don't have any recorded, I have them recorded, but um, I just haven't had the time <laughs> to actually um, get them um, edited, and that's because I'll put a video out or put a camera out on him, and it might be on him for an hour, and all he's literally doing is saying the same word over and over, and I don't wish that on anybody. <laughs> um, so it's not that I'm not doing them anymore. I actually have a couple of them that have been recorded and I'm just trying to edit out all the, the filler, but it's taken me a while because I'm trying to, you know, do a few other things and um, between working on things and, and uh, work and canning and all this other stuff. So, you know, I've got a time issue right now, but they're coming, they're coming. Is Jasper learning any words? Um, yeah, Jasper actually has said a couple of things that I didn't even know he knew how to say. Um, everybody has heard him say Ethan a million times, but um, the other morning he said, Ethan, are you ready? And um, <laughs> that's because Ethan um, has graduated school and he wants to take a year off to just kind of decide what he wants to do. And so Ethan is always being called, you know, hey, you know, you want to go here, you want to do this or whatever. And then he's kind of like, you know, also working on his YouTube channel, Is You a Pig? If you've ever seen him in our lives, Is You a Pig is our son. That's Ethan. And so he sometimes stays up late and he's doing this YouTube stuff and then he might go work on the farm or work with my dad or whatever. And... <laughs> He'll, um, he'll sometimes sit there with like his, his shoes getting on really slowly. And so one of us will be like, Ethan, are you ready? You know? And so Jasper has heard that so much between, <laughs> between um, June and now, which is not even December, that he started saying, Ethan, are you ready? <laughs> so that's one thing. And another thing, because Jasper's around um, my mom a lot more now, then he started saying granny. He's doing a lot of um, the word granny in various sentences and that kind of thing. Will you ever do a live stream with your kids and why don't you go live more often? Um, I'm probably not going to do a live stream with my kids, not because I don't want to, but because they're afraid that I'm going to embarrass them. They say that quite often because I'm, I'm pretty spontaneous and I just kind of say stuff. <laughs> they don't want to be online with me. Um, I don't go live more often because not that, well, I don't have time all the time, but I prefer to um, do giveaways and I prefer to have Ed when I'm going live. I mean, there's sometimes during the day that I'm available and he's not, but I like to go live with Ed because it's more fun to poke at Ed. It just is. And it's more fun to do it live. What's your educational background? Woo. <sighs> so the first degree that I started working on was pre-veterinary medicine which was really an animal science degree where I started off because they didn't have a pre-vet program so I made it um, into my third year and we had to start like dissecting cats and stuff like that and honestly I just you know it, it's I'm an animal science major and to, to be a veterinarian you have to take little steps like that and you know the, the farm stuff I could handle because it was an agricultural um, geared program to start with you know like principles of poultry production and stuff like that I could handle that but then, you know, I had pet cats and I didn't want to be cutting on a cat because I'm thinking about my cats. So um, I switched um, pre-vet um, just as I was starting to apply to schools. I was actually accepted um, at Columbia Mizzou um, first, but I decided that that wasn't the way I wanted to go. So my fourth year, um, I went to see my guidance counselor, um, my dean, you know, because they didn't really have guidance counselors um, at this school. It was pretty small. So I went to see my dean and I was able to um, get um, an advisor for um, a different type program. So they were looking at some of the stuff that I had and all the, the courses that I completed. And he said, well, are you interested in medicine? You know, you've taken a lot of, um, you know, courses that could probably be switched up to somebody's paramedic school program. And so um, he said, you still have to go to an EMT basic um, course. And so I chose a course that was 10 weeks and I went um, through the EMT basic course. And then I went ahead and got my credits that could transfer, transfer to um, a paramedic school uh, program, basically. And the ones that couldn't transfer to that, I was able to push them, or at least some of them, some of them I just, you know, had to be throw away. And I got them pushed to a criminal justice program. So I started on an associate of um, arts, of science or whatever, in criminal justice. And then once I got that and I was done with paramedic school, I worked part-time as a paramedic and 
that was about also the time that I became interested in pursuing a degree in theology. And so I was going to school for several different things, and one started off as a correspondence school, and then I ended up having to go and actually physically be there um, at Oral Roberts to take some of those classes. And so between Liberty University and Oral Roberts, I eventually um, got my doctorate in theology. But um, during some of that time, I was also doing other jobs that I won't talk about um, because they didn't advance me in the faith at all, and I'll just leave that alone. And um, doing certain things, you know, uh, working weekends, doing um, the, the, the paramedic stuff. And I did not uh, work just then as anything related to criminal justice. I was still going to school, got my bachelor's, and then the opportunity was presented to be able to do research for the Uniform Crime Report. And I don't want to get into any of that. But um, I was told that if I got my master's, I could be on the higher echelon of that. So I went ahead and got my master's in criminal justice also. So yeah, I have a few degrees. I minored in history, just in case I wanted to go into um, the legal end of it, not the law enforcement, but in case I wanted to go into criminal law instead of just criminal justice, which believe it or not, those are two different things. How many languages do you speak? <laughs> um, fluently? there would be three, and English, Spanish, and French. I'm learning some things. What I really want to learn is um, American Sign Language, and that's because I'm running upon more people who speak it. Not everybody who is nonverbal can sign, but I found that there are a bunch of people out there who I would be able to better communicate with if I could sign. Why do you do so many giveaways? Because I want to bless you. I'm greatly blessed, and I want to share some of that with you. What type channels do you subscribe the most to, and what's your favorite YouTube channel? Um, I've noticed uh, when I was counting my channel subscriptions the other day, I am very heavy on homestead and gardening, farming, those type channels. And that might be because that's, you know, when I am, so maybe that's why, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm interested in a lot of channels, like um, the next type channels that I am heavily subscribed to besides the farming and the homesteading and the gardening. Um, those would be self-help, but more like up here, and just regular like vlog, you know, things that people may have to offer. Never mind. Um, your favorite YouTube channel? Adds attention to detail. And wait, I think that, that might be it. Oh, look at that, you want to see my grocery list? That's my grocery list. <laughs> Since I accidentally deleted it, I think I did. Um, oh no, wait, there it is, okay. Yeah, that was it. That's all the questions. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to chatting in the comments.